Hey everybody. Doing a water change on my Garami tank here. And I just got in there to spray a little bit of hydrogen peroxide up in the corners. I've got a bunch of that cyanobacteria growing. There's some funky algae and stuff. Doesn't bother the tank while the tank is up and running, but it is, you know, kind of a nuisance and an eyesore. So if I can kill a little bit of it off while I'm doing a water change, I usually go ahead and do that. Now this is just regular old store brand strength. It's 3% hydrogen peroxide so it's not a particularly strong concentration of it I'm using it sparingly and I'm also not spraying it directly in the water I know a lot of it will run down into the water but it also gets uh, broken down very quickly once it reacts with all of the uh, algae and stuff that it's going to react with so a lot of what's running into the water is actually just water it's already lost a lot of its uh, you know the hydrogen peroxide it's already lost the oxygen and is left with just simple uh, H2O and to demonstrate that I'm going to go ahead and spray a little in there and we should see what looks like a bunch of smoke and mist and stuff coming off everything that is oxygen there's a lot of oxygen being released so all of that oxygen being released like that lets you know that it's breaking down that hydrogen peroxide very quickly into water and then H2O. I mean uh, oxygen and then H2O are the byproducts from hydrogen peroxide being broken down. So I am getting some in the water. It's not that big a deal when you're using a very low concentration like this. You can put up to uh, three milliliters per gallon if you were going to do say a full tank treatment uh, you could actually put three milliliters per gallon I don't recommend that I have done it before but the benefit you get from it versus the risk you take while you're doing it simply isn't worth it I never really uh, do full tank treatments of the hydrogen peroxide anymore but when I'm doing a water change and I've got all of that kind of junk and crud and everything exposed above the water You'll see it still looks like it's sitting down there smoking away as it's releasing more and more oxygen. So I'll do this a few times and get in there and give it some squirts. And you can see how all that oxygen's being released. So that's a beautiful sight to me. That means stuff is dying off. As you see that oxygen, that is stuff being oxidized and, you know, that's killing stuff off. It will never... Uh, I'll never be able to spray enough of it in there to kill all of that stuff off. Some of that stuff's gunked on there pretty thick. But as I said, doing a little bit here and there in between water changes uh, helps keep on top of it. So there you go. That's my little short video for this water change. I uh, look forward to some more video coming up pretty soon. My garami tank here will be nice and clean and we'll be able to get a good look at the fish inside. So thanks for watching this one. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you real soon in the next one. All right, we literally just got finished. I put the hose in the other room, came in here to close the lid. And what I want to show you is you can see the garami are already in there nibbling away at the dead algae and cyanobacteria. And I always find this interesting. Every time I use uh, hydrogen peroxide to kill cyanobacteria or algae, fish that otherwise would not eat it, go right over and start munching on it. Now you can see that female guppy that's in this tank has already come over. And I mean, I'm not kidding, it hasn't been two minutes since I pulled the hose out of this tank and you know put the lid back down from the water change. And we've already got all these fish over here nibbling away on all this stuff. And the tetras aren't really even, uh, you know, vegetation eaters so much. They will, but not uh, very much. They're just sort of picking it all the little detritus that's floating around in the tank that's being stirred up by the garamis. But it won't be long before my Chinese algae eaters are over there. And I've got that hillstream loach and that hillstream loach loves the uh, cyanobacteria once it's been killed. So I always find that interesting. I didn't want to think about it while I was doing the water change itself I figured we would just go ahead and shoot that part of the video and then we would see what happened once the video uh, or once the water change was over and I usually get some pretty good activity in this tank but I was surprised to see how rapidly all the vegetation eating fish have just gravitated to this corner and are now munching away on all the stuff I sprayed 
So there you go. Once again, I will say thank you for watching. Don't forget this one is my Garami tank. Make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you real soon in the next one.